Okay, good morning gamers. And I guess I changed the what you call this? The bitrate and some is like shit like that. I changed it to 30 FPS just because it's a visual novel. And yeah. I guess I changed a little bit of like what the quality I guess. I guess the 30 FPS is the only thing that I re I really change. As well as I up the audio bitrate to 160 kbps, 192, something like that. I just need some itsy bits of it. Since I guess my video isn't that high quality I guess for you guys. I, I don't know. I'm just recording it and just uploading it to YouTube. I don't know. It's just what it is. So yeah, I'm happy that you're really sticking in. I'm happy that you're really sticking in to the game. To be honest, I forget. I guess we we're preparing to the what you call this the um the culture festival that Monica prepared to us, and we got some. It's a bit of parts of some deep dark stuff right now that's been really happening right now in the game. Like Monica saying, save the game, kind of like that. And yeah, I'm just hoping that there's no spooky thing that would really, really happen. I don't know. I don't know, dude. So yeah, I guess we're going to continue the game, load game, and yeah, this is the last time that we play. So I guess we're going home now, right now. I guess we're. It is the end of day two. So yeah, we're going to continue right now. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nice so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I don't like Mondays, dude. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. I'm ready to go, Sayor. <laughs> I keep changing the voice, oh my god, every single time. I change my voice to Sayori, then I change Sayori to mine. <laughs> We're kinda like that, vice versa to each of the characters. I don't know, I keep confu I'm confused, dude. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, well, ah. Uh, how am I supposed to respond that, to that? It's okay, Ren. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I don't know. If, I guess I'm slowing the pace right now. I don't know. I will call Miss Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Okay, now we're onto the stop right now. We're onto, onto the rabbit hole. Hey Sayori. Huh? Oh no. Sayori is now sad, dude. Sorry, I was spacing up. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like how we get to... I mean... Sayori pumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home, walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me in, on, on the spot here. <laughs> I would I would still walk home with Sayori. I just... I would still walk home with you, dude. I don't care. Sayori, do you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I would have just ruined that for you. You're so silly, man. Oh my god, now I always sad, I guess? She's jealous, I don't know. You think about me too much sometimes. You would deserve it if she wanted it, so. Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what is the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Huh? The conversation trails up. What? It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. What is the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Okay, no! It's c kind of a bit odd right now. But they want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? 
It's day three now. So, how do we pick right now? Should we go with Natsuki? What if we try Natsuki this time? I guess, I don't know. Cry Embrace Clouds Blanket. Oh my god, there's a little bit of loading. Puppy? Puppy, uh, Rose? No, no, it's anime. We know anime. First email is Ribbon. Ribbon. Boop. Cute. Bouncy. Smile? Yes. Heart Journey Crimson. Sunny. Playground. Playground Eternity. Let's try Natsuki this time. I want to try each of the girls. Silly. Ah, uh, it's. Paper Jump Clumsy. Range of Kawaii. Fantasy Bunny Breathe and Canny. Bunny? Cheeks, cheeks. Kitty. Uh, childhood? Yeah, uh, it's. Oh my god, it's here, I forgot. Mouse Hope Despise. I can Boop, Ring Cloud. Boop. Hop. Lollipop. Yeah, Lollipop. You know, yeah, color. Okay. So we. Okay, now it's getting weirder, I guess. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walk into. Were you practicing for Yano again? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up Yano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. I remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Oh my god, Natsuki. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? As a pretty specific thing to look forward to. I haven't had like squid or like we don't have like principles in her uh, no we don't have any Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people Eh I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica Eh Is that how you say my name at all? Also the joke makes no sense in translation. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Sayori's or Sayori's, anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori, anyway? Oh, there you are. Oh. Now. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. Now he's indeed sad. I don't know. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little up. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? So he always so shows me a big smile. No, it's not. No, dude. No, no, no. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I really glanced at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Ren, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Okay, maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the, uh, the one asking you, Ren. Certainly, she certainly know her a lot better than I do. 
Yeah, but she's never really but she's never really like this. She always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was surely dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so we'll drop it now. Hmm, it's gonna be too weird now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members. You know, maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Ren. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. sunshine. It's not any different now that it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Ren. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Oh. Ah, I said too much. Okay. Okay, okay. Now that's kind of a bit weird now indeed, guys. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? He knows. She knows everything. She knows everything, dude. I didn't mean to jump to, to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'm trying to talk her, to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she, she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But just keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. Okay, now it's... I guess she's saying something odd. Sayori... I don't know. It's, I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Now I'm getting the chills, dude. Now I'm getting the chills, to be honest. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from her desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't, you, you, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell you that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well... Blurp again, blurp, blurp. No, no. Uh, I can't. Well, well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was star staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if it caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, these are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's really not that big of a deal. It was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a, li she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I, I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. 
then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading it into it a little too much. Ren, the rule is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight, and there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah, uh, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Um, I think that Sarah is a very complex person. Her mind and on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I notice her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in her case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle. I, I'm getting now. I'm getting into the... I'm getting into the... Lines, Nick. Now I'm getting absorbed, to be honest. I... <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing right now, but I get, I'm getting absorbed in the game. As if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware of worrying you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not the compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind of this whole thing anyway. Okay, everyone. So, okay. You don't have any dialogues, Donatsky? Okay, that's weird, dude. Kind of a bit weird. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems? Okay, so it's day three of the poem thingy. Poem thingy thing. You probably know it. Everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and they do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Okay, so it's third day now. It's third day of the poem reading thing. So let's try Sayori. Let's talk to our girl. To our... She's sad. Oh no, this is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, friend. Uh, thanks. Huh. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Huh? Of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Ren. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Atsuki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write them thinking of when thinking about you. Sayori. Oh no, she's crying, dude, no! Ren, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori is trouble keeping her voice steady, all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori so shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. 
It's nothing, Ren. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. Ha ha ha. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Oh no, Sayori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. No! No! Before I can say anything else, Sayori, Sayori triply walks out of the classroom, coming to herself. So we really, she really leaves. Walks out of the classroom. No! Is, is this going to happen right now? Oh no, dude! Hi, Ren! Have we thought about what you want to submit to perform with the festival? Well, being in this club is the one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It will also make me happy to see. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. We have, we, yeah, we don't see Sayori's poem. I should just leave. Oh no. And this freaker, this freaker, they don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hand. I like it, Ren. Are we not reading their poems now? Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, enduring, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. It might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning to. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. So there's no weird thing anyway. He says, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er, uh, alright. Okay. Okay, now. The lady who knows everything. She knows everything, dude. She really, really knows everything. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A bit of a lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. Uh, a predator. Second burp. Is that blurb burp? I don't know. Lost a trip in the sky. Victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill. Expressionless, expressionless. Okay, so there's a key over here. Is there something clue on this one? What? A hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no one to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking, but where I can speak, she knows responds in a hollow voice. The hand catches me between the thumb. I look at her eyes and find no one no I'll enter her gaze. The lady who knows everything but know what I'm thinking, but where I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back a float. And I pick up a gas of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get a piece of philosophy, philosophy or anything, but it was kind of on my mind. So that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the, the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. 
It seems like everyone in the club group is writing about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, everyone is sad, dude, everyone is indeed sad, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip. It sits another weird thingy. R writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because your brain is not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response, not something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, you will want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little liter liter literature club, don't you think? What? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, can I be married with a literature club, little one? The third trick club, that one? Let's try Yuri. Ah, excited to try something different today. I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences, but it would be unfair of me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? You were things for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? Huh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is worrisome. How unlikable of me. No, Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just mean that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always saw me think and come to these sort of conclusions. I'm just a little used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri! What? What am I saying? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. Our marble millions of years in the making. Where the womb of earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. But beneath grey rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sun castle where the sun is wet. But where the sun is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until they give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand with the poem wraps around my ankles, where my toes crush into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the poem tendrils, turn back, and abandon my pace to a road to the shore, creep forward, and return to earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an innate thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach into it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, after yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to, to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it is no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show up. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. I agree. Thanks for sharing! Okay, 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 okay. Natsuki. Natsuki's the last one, okay? Finally! Eh? This one. It's good. He was wondering how long it would take you. Alright. Yeah, seriously. Don't listen to whatever anyone else says. Especially Yuri. 
Just keep writing poems like this. That's all you need. Uh, are you sure that's not just what you want? Excuse me? You're talking to a pro, you know. Don't you think you should trust my opinion the most? I guess that depends. Aren't you biased towards poems that are more simple and cute? Biased? Of course not. My opinion just happens to be the best. There's one thing I still can tell. Is Natsuki actually self aware of her small behavior? At this rate, I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Fair enough. I'm glad that you like my poem after all. Haha. <laughs> I know you finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems and you'll be a pro before you know it. Anyway, here's the one I wrote. I'll be a bitch. Bitch. Remind us of pull of it's the same one with Yuri now, huh? Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a bitch for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the bitch that watch washes your worries away. I'll be the bitch that you daydream, the bitch that you daydream about each day. I'll be the bitch that makes your heart leap. And the way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bat in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Watch your insecurities in the salt the sea, and let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the bitch that washes your words away. I'll be the bitch that you daydream about each day. So it's the same. I'll be the bitch that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought I'd left you long ago, but if you let me sit by your side, your own bitch, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. That's cute, yeah. People like to keep writing about negative little things, so you want to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the bitch is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the bitch. Well, your take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's. jeez. It's better not have said anything about bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Oh, the call of each other, okay. Oh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, let's say right now. Okay, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Okay, now we're getting into the rabbit hole of this dark Doki Doki Literature Club part number. I don't know. And yeah, we're getting near, I guess. And you know, that something, something strange and odd that was really happening right now. So. We're only three. We have me, Renatsky, and Yuri, and Sayori live, and it's kind of a bit sad right now. And then Sayori's getting into something weird touch right now because of this girl. I'm not spoiling or anything, but I really know the ending. I've been saying this all the time, million times in the past episodes, but yes. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can handle the jump scares. <laughs> I will. That's gonna be for now, guys. Yeah, it's gonna be for now. Yeah, I played this game. I played this game. Lot, 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 lot. Yeah, yeah. We read poems again, 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 again. I guess we're going to visit at each other's house. I don't know in the near foreseeable future. And yeah, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Like, subscribe, all of the shiz. Com no, comment the notification bell. I can't read anymore. I can't speak anymore. And yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. And see you guys. Next time. Bye-bye.